Well, Frankie, it looks like you're due for another dose of naloxone. Hopefully that's the last one, eh? I know that you can't hear me, and that if you could, I'm probably the last person in the world you'd want to hear right now, but I had to come see you. I've been putting this off too long, coming to see you, but I was afraid that I wouldn't get the chance if I waited any longer. You don't know what you left behind. Maybe you thought no one cared about you, or that no one would notice when you were gone. But you were wrong. Your mom won't leave the house anymore. She won't talk to anyone. She won't so much as crack a smile. It's like she thinks she's obligated to be in mourning for you. That it would ruin the memory of her son if she took pleasure in anything. She loves you, more than I ever did, more than you loved me. What, what we had, you and me, neither of us knew what love was. We just loved the idea of each other. We didn't know what it meant to give yourself up to someone else. Not really. And if you don't wake up, the closest you'll ever get to true love is the eulogy at your funeral. I know that what you did was because of me. That you might die because of me. I don't know where you are right now, but I hope that you know this is all my fault. All of it. And I'll never be able to forgive myself because I can never take it back.